So Kim Campbell, uh, the ex-Prime Minister of Canada, uh, earlier today came out and tweeted about Trump, and she said he really is a motherfucker. In response to him responding to a reporter who asked him if he was going to have a safety net for these federal workers, and then Trump was like, uh, the safety net is going to be a border wall, you know, like border security. And this triggered a lot of liberals to come out and be like, oh, my God, he doesn't care about federal workers. Even like Snoop Dogg <laughs> is coming out and like, if you're a federal worker and you vote for Trump, you're an idiot. It's like, what kind of fucking rapper are you and shit? Like, oh, the federal workers and Trump doesn't like the federal workers. It's like, man. I thought these people were supposed to be like gangsters and all this other shit, but they're, they're they're always out promoting like leftist fucking causes. And it's like, you know, who 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 is paying these people to say that? Because I don't think on their own they even really give too much of a shit. But somebody's like, oh, we'll get these rappers to come out and uh, you know, to talk about Trump and and, and his and him hurting federal workers or something. Like, are you fucking kidding me? But it, it, it's it's ridiculous. But I don't I don't even care that she called Trump a motherfucker. I don't think I think the people the conservatives making an issue about it, saying uh, you know how could you speak like that about this and that's not very uh, stately, et cetera, et cetera. That's not a, a good viable strategy. It's that they they honestly want you to do that. They want you to come out and say. Oh, stop, stop using that type of language, you know, because then uh, when Trump used this type of language, then they're going to be like, oh, I thought you were uh, against this type of stuff. And it's like, yeah, Trump has said stuff like motherfucker or son of a bitch or, you know, you use some colorful language and that's fine. We want our politicians to use that type of language. We want them to speak honestly and whether or not this is honest or not, you know, it, it doesn't make her look good. If you just leave it alone, you know, but, but, but when you have a bunch of conservatives being like, oh, this is outrageous, this is outrageous, how could you speak like this? This is actually going to have uh, an effect on the liberals and make them more, I don't know, engaged, more wanting to go out and, and uh, you know, be more active or, or, or whatnot. Like, you look at Nike and you look at them, they purposely triggered the conservatives on purpose right so then it would it, it would get all the liberals to be like oh my god you know what's gonna get these uh, right wingers really mad is if i go and i buy some nikes and wear it around and this like you know that they're, they're, they're these companies these people they know how psychology works they know how to fuck with us to make us do things because of you know our pet our own pettiness and all of the conservatives attacking her right now for calling Trump a motherfucker, uh, that's going to embolden a bunch of liberals to be like, you know what, I'm going to follow her now, and I'm going to retweet her, and this is just going to make her more popular. So really, you just got to kind of brush off a lot of this stuff and be like, okay, let that Muslim congresswoman say that. Who cares? Like, let them speak like that. It, it, it makes no difference. You look like a prude saying that this is unacceptable. And this, is, you know, people are saying about Trump all the time. Oh, he's not presidential. He's not this and that. And it's like, you know, uh, exactly. Who cares? We don't want people to be like that. Rather, you know, liberals come out and say what they really fucking think as opposed to uh, keeping it hidden until it's too late to find out. Just like my reasoning behind the Islamic State of Ontario, or Party of Ontario, I wasn't meaning it's a good thing that they exist. I meant that it's better that they come out and say what they believe, uh, as opposed to keeping it hidden and then bringing it out way later when there's a bunch more people in the country that support these types of ideas because by then it's going to be a lot harder to get them out or, or do whatever or stop it right so you know be, them saying this shit is not a big deal but i find it funny how she just focuses on uh, american politics always like look at her twitter feed all she's talking about is Trump and these federal workers and this and that. She doesn't care about the Phoenix pay system that's been fucked up for three years in Canada that has been under overpaying people, all this stuff, like hundreds of millions of dollars. 
now it's going to cost another 500 million dollars to repair it you know she doesn't care about trudeau groping this young reporter 10 years ago not going to press that issue he's not going to press all of his other ethics violations it's like for hell for christ's sakes even attack the conservatives in canada and maxim bernier at the very least but she's not even uh, you know, talking about them whatsoever. It's like she's just completely ignoring them. Like, what kind of Canadian prime minister are you to only focus on America and American politics? But that is that is all on purpose as well. You know, because even attacking people like they want you to do to this girl helps them helps them get more popular. Look at what happens to the right a lot of the times. They get attacked by the left. Uh, and then these people get more and more popular. They try to censor them, and then more and more people hear about them. The Streisand effect does happen a lot of the times, and they're aware of this, and they're using it in uh, you know their their own type favor. Not that that you getting mad at them is the Streisand effect, but they're using you know the the, the other liberal people who find out about her uh, triggering conservatives. Now they're just gonna yeah, follow her and signal boost her. And so so what she's doing, she's just ignoring uh, Maxim Bernier, I guess the conservatives and anything going on in Canada, so as not to give these issues a signal boost in Canada. Because, you know, Trudeau is just fucking up so many goddamn things. Spending, like, you know, she probably doesn't even want to address any of it because it's just going to make him look bad. Even if the media is trying to spin it in his favor, it's like, well, I, I, just, I don't even want to bring attention to this. Let's just talk about Trump and uh, all the mean, bad things that he's doing to federal fucking workers in America. It's like, who the fuck cares? Okay, stop talking about Canada. Like I said, even, even attack the goddamn conservatives for fuck's sake, but nobody's going to talk to her about this nobody's going to address that they're just going to pat her on the back for being a strong independent woman for speaking truth to power like this that muslim talib woman said about trump and it's like it, it's so laughable to me that these people think they're speaking truth to power to, by calling trump like a motherfucker it's like you know just because he's the president doesn't mean that he has all the fucking power in society you know the media has a lot of goddamn power in society. A lot of these other marginalized groups that uh, you know the liberals like to uphold have a lot of power in society. And you know, you know, like they were saying, Louis C.K. was punching down when he was making fun of the Parkland kids and uh, LGBT groups or whatever. It's like no, th these people have power. You're punching up when you're attacking these people and. You know, these people are honestly like punching down when they're attacking Trump and conservatives and right wingers and whatnot, because, you know, the, these people are not the ones in the mainstream, not the ones, you know, in uh, power, you could say, because if they were in power, you would see a lot less immigration going on in Western countries. You'd see a lot fucking less of it. But uh, as you see, a lot of them are signing up to the U.N., global pact for fucking migration so who, who really has the goddamn power in society you know is, is it is it really us or is it you know uh you know certain lgbt groups that keep fucking suing bakers and they somehow have all of this fucking money to keep these fucking lawsuits going where are they getting all of this money where are all these groups getting all of this shit but all these right-winger people they don't have that money they're not they're not getting funded but they're like if you're a left wing, you're like, oh, these Koch, the Koch brothers are funding everybody on the right. It's like, you know, the Koch brothers are on your side. <laughs> They're for mass immigration. You know, they are controlled opposition or something at the very most. But really, they're just globalist like everybody else. You know, the right is not being funded and has all this right wing money coming to it like you see these left wingers in papers trying to insinuate oh maybe they're getting money from the russians it's like no you guys have all the money you know i see something the other day and they're like oh like I would, or cortez that she's like or somebody like that they're like oh you know all the republicans are bought off by all the corporations and ceos well guess what all of the businesses corporations like that all funded Hillary Clinton's campaign. 
like 95% of them. And the 95% of the media donated to Hillary Clinton's campaign. So it's like, uh, at this point, the, the right, the Republicans are the party more of the people. Now I'm saying all Republicans, are a lot of rhinos and shit. But at this point, it's the left that is the party of corporations that is making rules and regulations easier for them to dominate the market. You know, the TPP and, and stuff is, is going to be good for large corporations. The Paris Climate Agreement is going to be good for large corporations because a lot of these companies, these industries are going to get exemptions after they reach, I don't know, 80% or whatnot of their carbon emissions. So smaller and medium sized businesses are not going to get these exemptions. So that's going to allow larger corporations to save more money to expand more, which these smaller ones are not going to be able to do. Plus, the uh, he's only applying this to certain industries, right? The exemption, a lot of these other uh, fuel industries, you know, he's picking and choosing winners. It's not everybody who gets this exemption. It's only people who have like certain green energy, certain industries that I don't know, are highly supportive of liberals, but the, the, the uh, oil industry and all this, they're not getting these uh, subsidies. They're not getting or these exemptions. But, you know, it's, it's all a fucking scam. And it's like the, it, these types of people that are supposed to be Canadians, you know, are just selling us out globalism. They're just worried about America and Americans and American fucking so federal workers you know that that is what really fucking gets me just just look at her goddamn feed it's terrible like she is a fucking uh progressive communist you know like retweeting paul krugman and all these other people it's like oh my god like just just check it check it out for yourself but i gotta reiterate that don't get mad at her don't say oh you're not being very i don't know womanly or very uh you know, I don't know, I don't even know what term these people use, but uh, I don't know, good or whatever. Like, just let them speak, just brush it off, and uh, you know, don't play in to their game. Because this is another thing that they do is that you know they'll find like two, three conservatives bitch about something on Twitter or whatnot, and I, I see a lot of people though saying it's not just two or three conservatives, a lot of people, conservatives right now are saying like, oh, this is unacceptable and whatever. Uh, but a lot of the other times too, they'll be like, oh, there's an outrage over this, right wingers are outraged, and they'll find like two, three tweets on Twitter of people getting mad, and they'll, they'll, they'll blow that up, write a fucking story about it, or even reverse and be like, oh, all these people are mad at this person for saying this and you know it's the it create stories out of fucking nothing but you know like i said don't don't play into her game but that's all i pretty much had to say if you like my content subscribe and have a good day see ya